Welcome. In front of me is a Alpapo Reno 12 Pro and today I will show you how we can record a screen on this device. To get started you will want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen like so and then somewhere here where you have toggles you can swipe down on this area once more and this will ex uh, extend the list of toggles. Now on one of the pages we should have our screen recording toggle, for me it is on the second page right over here. Once you see it simply tap on it, the first time around it will bring you this pop-up asking you to grant it access to record audio, so we're gonna do it while using the app. Now we do have also options for floating a window, this is just this kind of pop-up that's gonna be there and uh, you can also have it visible on the status bar. So you can choose either one of those. Uh, completely up to your preference. Now, if you're doing some kind of recording of gameplays on your phone, uh, then probably status bar will be a better one because it won't be getting in the way. Uh, while the floating window is obviously going to be a floating window which you can move around, but like, like the message would state, you can move it around so it might get in your way while playing games. Now from there, it brings you this overlay. So this is the floating window, which we should be able to move, I think. Apparently, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Um, now, in here we have a couple options, like close. Uh, we can choose what kind of audio will be recorded. So this is going to be just a system uh, audio. Below, besides that, we have microphone, which you can tap on and then enable it in here. Now, if you're planning to use both the system and microphone, it is recommended to use headphones. As you can see, it even tells you that right here. And the reason for that is because uh, it might create an unwanted echo effect where the microphone picks up the system sound once more uh, while system sound is recorded internally and then leaves the speakers. You, you can imagine how that would probably sound and it wouldn't be fun. So, once you're ready, you can click on the circle to start recording. It shows you a countdown right here, how long it's been recording, and whatever you'll do right now will be recorded by the device. For some reason it gives me pop-ups anyway. <laughs> Sorry for that, needed to sneeze. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. Um, anyway. So... I tried to open up Netflix right here. But, oh there we go, it's actually opening up right now. Uh, because it gives you... A uh, couple options, oh, something that I want to showcase. So number one, it gives this pop-up right here. Whatever this garbage is, I'm gonna select reject. There we go. So I just rejected it. I am not signed in, therefore I haven't agreed to any terms of use of service of anything uh, associated with this uh, dog water application. And keep in mind, I'm recording. There is content visible right here, as you can obviously see. A bunch of images, whatever. Now I'm gonna close this. So we're on the home screen. And I'm going to stop the recording. You can do it right here by clicking on this checkbox. And this will save the recording to our Photos application. Let's open that up right now. Now, the reason I chose Netflix is because of something that you're about to see in a second. So this is already playing back, yep. So, in Android, there is a feature that allows applications to basically add some protection to it. And that that is designed to protect the user. It's primarily used by bank applications as an example. So if you try to ever capture a screenshot in your bank app or record a video, you will see that it gives you a pop-up that you just can't capture a screenshot and if I'm doing the screen recordings, it just ends up with a black screen. That is a good thing because if you download some kind of virus, obviously you wouldn't be able to, uh, or that, that a virus would be able to see into your uh, information if that's what it's designed for. But with this kind of feature, all it would see is just a black screen. So that's good. Uh, this, on the other hand side, I haven't agreed to anything. And this is not a, sen a sensitive application. So for it to do this, which is still playing, by the way, you will see in a second, uh, is just a no bueno because I would argue that this is encroaching on your privacy, your own device that you paid for. Application that you haven't given any kind of permission whatsoever can just F around on your phone without your explicit permission, with you even rejecting anything that it pops up with. So just wanted to point that out. And if you ever encounter just a fully black screen like that from any kind of application, uh, because there are some applications that use this, primarily streaming applic applications as well, um, then just know that there's nothing you can do about it. 
Uh, there is no work workaround as far as I know. There is no setting that you can turn off. It's just baked into the system uh, that you can't get rid of. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.